Well, yo, let's give a big Dish Nation welcome for comedian Tom Simmons. It's great excitement. Good to be here. <laughs> Welcome to the party, man. Yeah. Now, we're a big fan of the show Laughs, and you have this segment on their court. So then there's this, which is your comedic take on politics. Politics in the world and crazy stories and stuff like that. It's it's a web series also, mostly where a lot of them come out. But, yeah, it's 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 a fun thing to do, man. I get paid to tell jokes. So last week, Donald Trump went after Marco Rubio for saying Donald Trump had small hands with this clap back. Check it out. And I have to say this. I have to say this. <laughs> He hit my hands. Nobody has ever hit my hands. I've never heard of this one. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? <laughs> and he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee. When has ever the size of a man's joint had any way on who wins a presidential debate? I, 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 don't, I, I don't think it's had any any say. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Hillary's hands must are tiny. So that's, I'm, <laughs> she's got to have the smallest one. Yeah. You know? And I don't know how you guys feel about Hillary, but I think she's been pretty amazing. You know what I mean? Her mm -hmm. whole campaign's built around her family and... Who's been more of a stalwart for keeping her family together through horrible crap than Hillary Clinton? If that had been my wife back in the day, my stuff would have been spread all over the White House you, lawn. Yeah. She'd have been keying Air Force One, changing the locks on the White House. I wouldn't be here right now. That's right. <laughs> well, one of my favorite moments of the debate was the pileup that Ben Carson caused when I guess he didn't hear his name and he just kind of just stood there. Let's flashback real quick. Senator Marco Rubio. Rubio heard his name, those big ears. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush. He's like, you missed your turn, bro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Republican candidates. Wow. They both missed the turn. Yeah, they did. Wow. How are you a neurosurgeon and dumb? I don't, I, it doesn't even make sense. Oh, you guys, it was loud. They Come on now. Their they were nudging him as they came out. I'm like, no, no, no. He was waiting to hear his name, and they were clapping so loud. He didn't hear it. Well, girl, he should have yeah. known, honey. It was time to go out eventually. Yeah, you right. still stuck in the tunnel. <laughs> that might be the first time this year Donald Trump could honestly say he stood behind black people. Right. That's, right. Right. That's, uh, that's a great line. Mm -mm. Well, yo, so. man, so what can we see you do next? I don't know. I tell I tell jokes. I got a tour going on called, uh, called uh, Sick of Stupid with me and uh, this guy Stuart Huff and Cliff Cash, where it's sort of trying to give voice to sort of uh, intelligent liberal Southerners, you know, which, because uh, the Southerners, we get represented as jackasses almost constantly. Yeah, so, yeah right. And being, you know, like we're slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, there's like, something wait, wait. that sticks to that, like the whole Confederate flag thing. We were like, well, South, the South doesn't need a flag that represents racism and ignorance. Our voting record takes care of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, right. With Tom Simmons, you are the man. Be sure you catch Tom Simmons on laughs and check out So Then There's This, which you also can find on the Facebook page, right? Yes, you can. Check it out. One time for Tom Simmons. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Peace. Woo!